Marks the first time a toller solar eclipse will pass through the U.S. in seven years, and our Philip Townsend got special access to an award-winning artist slash scientist who has been following and capturing eclipses for decades. All eyes to the sky for the total solar eclipse. When the moon passes between the sun and earth, blocking out all sunlight. The last time it happened, 2017. But this time around, there's going to be more time to enjoy this phenomenon. Twice as long as the 2017 is pretty long one. And so you have enough time to enjoy to capture a shot with your phone or a camera. That's legendary science photojournalist Babak Tafreshi. And ahead of the eclipse, he's giving us tips to get the most out of the experience. First and foremost, make sure you're wearing those protective glasses with solar filters. Look at the, this mysterious phenomenon known as the shadow bands. It happens one or two minutes before totality or after, rapidly moving lights and shadows, which are very hard to document and film. But look under the trees, you will see hundreds of little crescents formed by the pinhole cameras, which are the distances between the leaves and creates these images of the sun. And from a research perspective, the sun's outermost layer, called its corona, is hidden until totality. This gives scientists a rare opportunity to study how the sun transfers energy from its surface to its outer corona and then out to the solar system that affects so many things, including life here on Earth. And this is a still a mystery, which a solar eclipse can reveal plenty of information during that time. Pretty exciting. The next time a solar eclipse will pass by Virginia won't be until 2078 when the path of totality goes right through Kitty Hawk and it will and will pass through the southern parts of Hampton Roads.